Hello, and welcome to this tutorial video from the GMS support team. I will take you through the Locations tab in the Project Proposal form of the Grant Management System. The Locations tab's purpose is to indicate in which geographical areas you will be implementing your project. The system allows multi-locations projects. In this tab, implementing partners are requested to allocate budget and targeted affected persons to each added location. As you add locations, the GMS updates the map. Please note, the system will pre-select location options based on the data inputted in the Logical Framework tab. The Affected Persons tab and the Budget tab. Therefore, make sure that the information in these tabs are correct and have been saved and validated. If either of these tabs appears in red, then the information have not been validated by the system. Ensure that the tabs are blue before adding locations. Adding locations is a two-steps process. You firstly need to add a budget location. This action will record the location in the system. It means allocating a percentage of the budget to a specific location. Secondly, you need to distribute affected persons. This means providing the number of targeted beneficiaries in this specific location. There is no standalone Add Location button. Instead, click on Add Budget Location to create a location. This new box appears, with geographical areas on the left side, and guidance on the right side. Select the desired location by ticking its box. The minimum admin level location required by the allocation is displayed on the right. The admin level location is the structural administrative level required by the allocation strategy. It ranges from global, the highest level, to admin level 5, the lowest, for instance, communities. Upon ticking the location box, a new field appears on the right. Input in the field the budget percentage that will be spent in this location. Did you notice the changes in the green box? It automatically deduces the remaining budget percentage. It says here zero because we allocate 100% of our budget to this location. Another box appeared, translating the inputted percentage into the actual US dollar. Here, we allocate 100% of our budget, 100,980 United States dollars, to the location Aben Efren, meaning that our project's activities will be implemented in this location only. After adding the correct budget percentage, click on Save. If your project includes several locations, please enter the exact percentage of budget that this location represents. You can then save this location and add others by repeating the previous steps. The combined budget percentage of all locations must be 100%. The location now appears in a line in the Locations Added section. We can see an error icon, as we haven't distributed the affected persons yet. Distributing targeted affected persons for each location is the second requirement. To do so, click on the Save and Distribute Affected Persons button after entering the budget percentage. Or click on the Add Affected Persons button on the right-hand side of the location line, in the Locations Added section below the map. You will be asked to select the location again, tick the box of the wanted location. Insert the budget percentage for the selected location, and provide a breakdown of targeted affected persons per category for this location. The green boxes represent the total of affected persons saved in the proposal. The system automatically deduces the remaining number of persons. From the drop-down list in the Activities Linked field, select the relevant activities and click on Save. Affected persons have now been distributed to the location. Click on the plus icon of the location line to access the breakdown of affected persons. The location has been properly added to your proposal. Edit or delete it by clicking on the icons on the right side of its line in the Locations Added section. 
You tried to add locations but still have the error icons and messages? Don't panic. These error messages are here to help you by pointing out what went wrong. Watch our dedicated video on troubleshooting to overcome all location issues. You can also read the dedicated article on the GMS help portal at this address. We hope this video was helpful. For more help or should you have any comment, please contact the GMS support team.